Rams X6E Coyote, and this is the aircraft that we're talking about. So I'm now going to ask uh, my other guest up here, Alex. Um, Alex, how did you become involved with this aircraft? Um, the Build a Plane project was obviously sponsored by the Royal Aeronautical Society. The sort of what sort of time scale did it take to build? Well, it did take a few years, but what we were trying to do was to provide the maximum number of students with an opportunity to get involved. Because the aim of the program is very much about STEM, science, technology, engineering and management, so that uh, the young people got... It's, uh, I, I trust myself and obviously trust the experts that are all supporting us, um, mainly volunteers actually, who are all there to oversee everything. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very exciting to fly something that you've contributed to. That's absolutely brilliant. Now, who is actually flying the aircraft today, Lee? Uh, Graham Wiley, who is a very experienced microline pilot and also a member of the local Royal Air Society branch. But what I should point out is that you're actually seeing aviation history being made here today at Costco because this is the first aircraft built by school children and students to fly in the Cosford Air display. So, a bit of aviation history you're going to see right now. That's, that's superb. I mean, yeah, a, a real mark that the name will continue and the trust will continue and will it allow young people to um, carry on with projects such as this. And I believe, Lee, there are um, plans to make this much, much bigger scale. That, that's right. There are six aircraft at the moment to this particular <laughs> You can that's sign it. It's very exciting actually to see everything, how it works. <laughs> There are also some flight simulators there at these STEM exhibitions, so you can have a go at flying an aircraft yourself into Cosford. Great. Now, looking at the actual aircraft itself, um, as I said, uh, it, it's doing a very, very basic um, sort of... Dis it, it is, and in fact, um, if you fill the tank up, you could fly from Cosford to Land's End on one tank for one leaded motor fuel. Has anyone done that? Not yet, but I'm sure there's a challenge for those out there. <laughs>